thing about fencing is a lot of times you think that you're all set and then something happens, either a tree falls on it or an animal knocks something down or, or whatever, and you end up going back out and doing some more fencing. And uh, it's just one of those things. Yeah, uh, brought fence posts and the last, I don't know, six, seven years probably, I've been buying steel T-posts and they run about five dollars, five fifty, I guess, a piece. And if you go on like Veterans Day, you get a discount. And if you buy a certain amount, you get a discount. So uh, if you buy the cedar posts, they're about the same price. And they don't, I don't know what it is. It's not like cedar's changed, but it seems like they don't last very long. Like, you know, some of these cedar posts are 50 years old and they're still solid. And then I bought some new ones maybe 10 years ago and they're already junk. Uh, so I've been replacing everything with with steel T-posts except for like a few areas mainly where I hook the gates on these are these are PT and at some point they stopped putting arsenic in it uh, and then they they put copper in them so these aren't even really as good as they used to be and I know you know they don't put arsenic in the groundwater and that's important but they're just not as good as they used to be so I have to replace these. I'm already replacing some that I put in 10 or 11 years ago. But, uh, you know, what else are you going to do? I don't really have access to old telephone poles anymore. So this is what we use. So yeah. We did have a lot of pine trees. And every year we'd go cut uh, new, new poles, new pine poles, and pull out almost all the fence posts and put all new fence posts in. So you had to pull the staples out, pull the wire off and everything, and then put it all back on. And then next year do it over again and so these steel posts I think they'll last as long as I do if I die when I oughta um, so they're they're a good investment and you can get all the thing everything they make now is compatible with t-posts the insulators the gate hooks uh, even the charger has a mount that goes on a t-post so the t-posts are pretty much where it's at and I do like I do obviously like the looks of a nice wooden fence you know with with a with a nice round cedar posts but the price isn't it's not it's not really cost effective anymore so t posts is where we're at these posts have been in about 10 years and it's starting to get a little bit of a lean to it i i know i put a level on it when i when i put when i put it in but with the frost and everything and uh you know i dug this one with the backhoe i didn't have a post hole digger at the time and i just took a bag of cement and dumped it in and then filled it in and let the water as it as it occurred naturally to, to solidify it and it works great for fence posts but I wouldn't go make a patio out of it I don't know, a couple, a couple years ago over here, I don't go to over here anymore. No, that wasn't there before. Then the cows did it. I don't even think that. I think something broke through trying to escape. That, that's what this looks like to me. Well, it's still broken. It's yeah. The wire's literally broken off. Yes, that's what I mean. That's why we're going to put barbed wire across everything. How long is that good section? We have enough. I hit We'll cut it. Oh yeah, just cut it right on the, um, the edge of the break. So cut down there, and then cut. But yeah, now that looks like... I'm just going to cut right here. No, it's all garbage. So you look at it, it's all stretched out. Go ahead and cut that. Both sides. 
I'll get the stuff ready. This is that non-climb horse fence I bought when I first started. And uh, so it comes in 100 foot rolls and I got a lot of these. And they were, they were okay for sheep and they're good around the garden because the little critters can't get in there, but they don't really stand a chance against cows. Snowfall last night. I didn't think so, because what we did. Yeah, we did. That didn't stick because it wasn't on the ground when I got up. No, it wasn't even an inch of snow. It's more there than an inch. It didn't stick. Well, it's easier to connect it after it's been cut. Might be worth putting the trail cam over here. Well, I was going to have you take it down. I know where there's a game trail. I want to go put the trail cam on it. I also, I know where there's some coyotes. So I want to see if so we can... You might want to get a couple of them. We have two of them. I just don't remember where one of them is at the moment. We should probably have like three for one like right over here. Put that on your list of things to do today. Take Bring the trail. Up. Yeah, so I can clear it. I have the other blue players. Yeah. Only they get along with the dogs. Lily does. Usually. What about the out ones? They don't like the dogs. Yeah, that's what I said. Huh? Can you hold on to my clips? It's hard putting these on when you already got wire on. Yeah. This takes forever. Where's my clips? On the you eclipsed me. Smart. I've been eclipsed. Huh. Get it? I got it. I got it. Oh, it's very, very punny. You know that people actually pay to go work on farms for the experience? Yeah, sorry they knew that. You got it for nothing, but you got paid for it. You got paid. Chomp it. I'm holding it chomp up. Chomp it here. I'm holding it up. You gotta chomp it. Nope. You got it. Nope. It's all you. Have another staple while you're right there. <laughs> Grab my chainsaw and meet me at the gate. No. Make sure there's gas in it. It's, it's the cap that's got the gas can on it. It looks like a gas can. One that runs. I'm get you the one that doesn't. And you'll have to saw it off with a hacksaw. Did you check it for gas? It ain't got no gas in it. It ain't got no gas in it. loose if you run it loose 
uh, the rest of the chain coming off and it can either come back and get you in the hand or which is unlikely but it can but most likely what happens is it'll come off and then these little right here that go in the groove will get a burr on it and then you have to file those off so it just takes a second to tighten it up and it takes a lot more than a second to fix it don't put it too tight otherwise it won't work I usually put it just so wherever I'm pulling that one tooth can come out that should be enough right? Yeah. Wasn't the oil open? Um, Here. Just... Throw that in the garbage. These little Echo chainsaws, they used to get them for like 125 bucks. And I don't know what they go now. I think they're like 160. You can get them with a 14 or a 16 inch, and then you can get a bigger one with a 20 inch or 18. But I like these little ones for fencing. days I'll get all my stuff in the right place. Most of the plumbing stuff is in here with the garden stuff. This shed needs to be cleaned out with fittings and stuff. But I got a lot of crap in the garage too and you'd think I'd have it all in one place but I haven't haven't gotten there yet so it's either there or it's in there on the workbench. Lily, why are you out? Why is Lily out? Huh? Why is Lily out here again? I have no idea. I was wondering what the, all the howling was. Come here. Where she went? There she is. I'm gonna go figure out where she got out from. Point where it's gonna crimp it, but not. The other thing is to tighten them up back up. Push. Not a shingle day. This thing not go wrong. No. Get it? No. That was a good one. No. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. You have to admit it when it is. No. Okay, let's put this thing up. Uh, 
Bye. That's good. We'll do the middle first and then it'll bow out. I got my new window in and changed the paint to the right color paint so it matches. Come on, Chancey. Let's go. You got sawdust on your butt. like much but 
and I sewed this in. I sewed in turnips. I like them not too big. Come back to mine some more. They're getting pretty good sized. I'm gonna put the animals out here pretty soon. The sunflowers are gone. I got the pump put some squash here still. Butter nuts. Pumpkin still on the vine. I'll grab this guy. I'll grab a handful of pears. These are pretty good. I think they're danju. And the grapes are done. There's still raspberries. gonna put uh, some tape and paint this up and then put some a bead of caulking up here I tried that little caulking rope and it's okay but it's, it's not really what I want it's okay for inside the, the glass I guess but I think I'd rather use window glazing next time I just thought I'd try it but I am not really happy with it so next time I'll do window glazing instead of the little caulk rope or whatever you want to call it but anyway that's my door that I just finished up and Got some antique hinges for it, and the latch is being painted. It's a trip latch, with the, the trip is here, so you can open it from the inside. But it came in shiny paint, I'm gonna make, make it flat. Appreciate you watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.